Hi, my name is Diane Miller, and I'm an attorney with National Health Freedom Coalition. And today I'm bringing you a presentation uh, requested by CHCA for things to keep in mind for your lobbying and your legislators. When you lobby, it's important to remember my first rule. There are no enemies, only allies. Lobbying is all about relationships. And the sooner we learn that, the better, because these are people, they're people from our community, and they're our friends working to make life better in the world. It's important to do your research on the people that you're meeting with. When you go and see a legislator, a senator, a representative, an assemblyman, or their staffers or aides, they have a life of their own, and they have experiences that got them to where they are. It's important for you to understand who they are, where they're from, what they're passionate about, and make sure that you can uh, take that into consideration when you're communicating with them. Your approach can always be, how can I help you, rather than I want something from you. Because a friendly, how can I help you as a lawmaker is much more helpful to them because their job is to make laws for you to live by and for them to live by. Again, it's all about relationships and I recommend that you always meet them where they're at. If you know that they have a passion one way or the other about something, you know that you have to meet them right where they're at before you can move them at all towards understanding your issue. And it's always good to meet them in their own backyard, in their district, at their home office, or other informal places where you can get to know them as persons. I encourage you to think about educating them. Assume that they have their own set of knowledge like all of us have. We all understand life from our experiences and all of the decisions we made in our lives and our family and our career and we have our own set of knowledge and you're just adding hopefully to that knowledge that they already have and so you're rather than pushing something at them you are adding to a base that they have that you honor i think it's very important for you when you meet with someone to know the current status of your issue or your bill so your issue might not have moved at all in the legislature. You might be coming with just a, a sentence on a piece of paper that you want to become law. Or your, the bill that you're interested in might already have a bill number. It might already be in a hearing. It might even be on the way to the governor's office. So your, your responsibility to know where your issue is and where your bill is at is very important so that you can communicate with them because that's what they do. They know the rules and they know where things are at. In your meeting, it's important to listen to them before you start giving them information so that you can be a good listener and converse about in response to what they are already thinking. So ask them whether they have heard of your issue or whether what they know about your issue and listen very carefully to what they say, because that's going to reflect what you need to do in order to solicit their support in moving your issue forward. You can say, may I brief you on the problem after you understand what they understand, and then um, tell them why you're there. And use personal stories, use examples. I think that's always the best way to communicate uh, to a person's heart. It's important to come with a solution. Legislators don't have solutions for everything. They've got maybe 2,000 bills on their plate. They're, they've got lots of detail in front of them. And not only do they know what you don't like about things that are happening, they need to know what you want to have happen, what you're willing to live with. And they need to know your solution enough to understand whether it can become law or not. And then at the end of that, of that meeting, ask them, what are you willing to do about this, about this solution that I'm presenting to you? And people, I, I put this slide in here because 
oftentimes people don't remember legislators are not just policy people they are lawmakers that their job is to make laws that we will live by they might be working on a new bill an existing bill they might want to change a law they might be just working on an amendment to a very big bill they might be just supporting a colleague when their colleague is moving a bill forward or trying to garner support in agencies or the governor's office. So they are actually lawmakers in very many different situations because the goal is what does the law say and what do we live by? So your solution will reflect what, what they need to grab onto in order to do their job. If you're in a conversation and you don't know the answer with a lawmaker, just say so. And that's a great opportunity to find an answer for them and return with it. So it's, it's a, a mark of credibility when you can say you don't know something and it's also an opportunity to meet with them again to share what you have learned. Lawmakers read a lot of things every day. So if you take a packet of 50 pages into them with lots of articles in it, they probably won't read it unless they're extremely passionate about an issue and need to know. Um, it's helpful for you to have organized quick reads for them so that they can understand very quickly what the essential issues of your of your issue is and how that can be morphed into a law. And so offer to bring them very clear information, very well organized, and also offer to bring them in experts or constituents that know about this issue very well so that you're maybe not the only resource they have to give them all of the uh, necessary information that they need in order to pass a bill. Also leave uh, contact information and your card whenever you're with a legislator because they have so many people that they deal with every day. Um, I put, I wanted to share with you where people lobby because people think, oh, I have to get in a meeting with a, a legislator and it has to be in their office and it has to be for 15 or minutes or half an hour. And sometimes that's hard to do. Legislators are lobbied everywhere. They're lobbied in their offices, in the hallways, on the way to the airport. They are in elevators, uh, outside of chambers, coming out of committee room, in their district offices, at parades. Um, legislators are there for you. That's what they do. They want to talk to you and approaching them it's important when you approach them to know what you want to say very quickly if they are very busy. The basics of lobbying that I've learned just personally over the years is it's always helpful to go lobbying with a colleague if possible. Um, because that gives you an opportunity to come out of any meeting or any exchange and debrief, like did you hear the same thing I heard and what's gonna happen next? Um, always remain respectful, formal, use surnames, uh, don't be negative towards any person in the meeting and always follow up with a thank you and report back to the group that you're working with. So those very basics are, are, are keep, that keeps the flow going when you're working on a team and you want everybody to know the latest exchange that you have so that your bill keeps moving forward. Um, sometimes things happen at the Capitol very unexpectedly. Things happen quickly. Uh, within three minutes, people can rush off to a hearing or rush into a meeting. And so when you go into a meeting, if somebody, if, if the circumstances are changing, read the room or circumstances, be very, very flexible. Be very professional and just adjust to what's happening and accomplish what you can without creating resistance. Um, you can always come back later and make additions or make another meeting uh, to add to what you didn't cover the first time. But I think that flexibility is part, 
really important for legislators because their days are so busy with so many people coming at them with so much information. Your relationship with a legislator can be more powerful when it's ongoing. A one-time stop at a legislative office is good, but that relationship needs to build trust because they use trust as a way to accomplish the massive amount of juggling detail that they have. So if you are honest and straightforward in your relationship with them, they can learn that you're a person they can trust to depend on to bring them good information. And that's something legislators all need, trusting, supportive people around them that they know, they, that they know they'll be really honest uh, with them. So that's the short version of how to lobby. Um, I know that political situations come up where, where things are so passionate that things seem to be very, very um, intense and your job is to keep it rolling, keep it flexible, keep it professional, keep it joyful, and know that your issue can become law if you get the proper support for it. So thank you so much.